Yo. What's good? How is everyone? You're just about to sleep? Katie! Have the stream open and take the nap. You earned it. You had a funny tweet today, Katie. I think it was you. Thanks, Brianna. You're not watching the playoffs? I got a tab open. I'm hoping the Packers could pull it off. I'm a big Brock Purdy denier. Thank you for the sub. God, that's a tough name. FCTN fiction. Fiction character. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Fictional character. I think I got it. <clears throat> I think I got there, right? Hype Boy West. Ugh, not that guy. Not that guy. Big fan. Let's go. That's what I'd like to see. You still sick? I feel good. I feel a lot better than I did. Still a little bit of a cough, but I feel fine. Who you want in the Super Bowl? Um, obviously, I was rooting for the Dolphins. Now I'm like, fuck it. Let's go Chiefs. I'm a big Mahomes. Mahomes guy. I think, uh, I think Chiefs Niners would be exciting, but Chiefs... Lions would be fun, too. Thank you for the gift, Anonymous. One tier two sub. Interesting. Look at that. Texans for the Super Bowl. I've got some bad news. Ravens are taking the Super Bowl. Maleficent. Thank you. Mahomes will never be better than Brady. He the GOAT. I disagree. Right now, Brady's the GOAT, but... I think we'll catch him. No tweet. Is this another exclusive VIP stream? Yeah, I think so. Not not too many plans for today. I just kind of was bored and wanted to go live. Open your IG subscriptions. I should send that email right now. Thank you. Nice to know in decor. Appreciate it. Scrambled the discourse on Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, good times. Everyone, everyone, like, look, Big Brother Twitter never disappoints. Email stream. That'd be fun. Don't you guys think? You gotta post more on Insta? I mean, I would if I had, like, if people were paying me right now, I'm kind of just lazy. You Bex. I just, I just hope America doesn't see it because she's gonna it's gonna piss her off and that would be annoying I've kind of given up on Twitter it just kind of is what it is <laughs> so thanks Matt any updates in sponsorship email uh we put together a website today because when we were writing the emails it became very difficult to just like repeat so like there's a Corey website that is almost done that People can, you can just send instead of like the full pitch, you know. You must have people muted. It's not, it's a couple very, it's like three people being very loud. That's it. Nothing's going on to Twitter. I, I bring it up. It's, it's not, a, it's not, it's not. A, what's your major? Uh, political science and communications. What's going on to Twitter? Nothing! Chill. Corey, why the Pepsi? Um, I'm an addict. <sighs> Thank you, Didi. What's the plan for today's stream? Chill, vibe, chive, you know? Okay, I had an idea for a stream. <laughs> and I want to pitch it. I want to soft launch the stream. Before we actually do said stream, okay? Coke over Pepsi. This is what was available. 
Uh, obviously, I'm a Coke over Pepsi person. Come on. How many cameos do you figure you've done, or can you even guess? I think I can almost give you the answer. Let me see. Um, I actually don't know if I can give you the answer. I mean, I probably... I, like, I could do the math, maybe, but a lot. Like, a shitload. Pepsi guy since day one. Bad take for Jimbo. Aye, aye, aye. Shrooms part two story. No, no. Okay. So, more elaborate lies tonight. <laughs> you guys like that stream? It was, a, it was a crazy thing I cooked up in 25 minutes. I want to give you guys something. <laughs> no more lying streams? I don't know. Kind of like the lying streams. I think they're a good time. No, so here, here's the <coughs> the stream pitch. Are you guys familiar with epic rap battles of history? We watch everyone from the first one, rank everyone, create the ultimate epic rap battles of history tier list. Start to finish. It would take seven at seven or eight hours. Like it would it would be forever. My favorite is Mr. Rogers, Mr. T. No, it's not. I'll chop you into four black dudes and I'll remake cool runnings. That's like the the line of the like I don't think you stand by that opinion if you watch the video right now. It's like old epic rap battles. Like the, I wonder how much money they were making from these videos for Epic Lloyd to be like, I'll dress up as Hitler. Not today. I need to study at some point. Good Lord, Sarah. Me too. MLK was Gandhi was fire. I have a hot take about that one. I don't think it was. Make Goo Boy write his own epic rap battle and perform it over Discord. You might have just said something, Addy. Aren't all of them a little bit racist? Not all, but but a lot. A lot of them. What's your dream ERB? Is a good question. Is that the show LL Cool J hosts? I don't think I've ever watched. Are you thinking lip sync battle? Goo Boy being your employee is the funniest subplot of the post BBC season. Well, technically, he's more of an intern because he's not getting paid. So. If we're just going to get caught up on semantics here. Let's talk about the Communist Manifesto. So, I, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I, I want to create some form of a schedule for for these streams just to so i know what i'm walking into each day on stream because i think like if i have three streams i try to do a week that are kind of high effort and the rest of them i could just kind of fuck off and do whatever i feel like that's my plan so i think one day a week i want to do some form of presentation Something, not like yesterday's story time, but the original story time. Presenting on some topic. If you guys know Atrioc, like a marketing Monday kind of, I'm teaching you guys about something, talking about something I care about. It, it very leaning into what I'm good at, kind of, kind of idea, right? Should we, should I pull this up? Should I make a schedule maker? Every fucking service I, I use is going to be paid. Schedulemaker.io is probably not paid. Professor Corey. Yeah.
so let's uh let's think about this so uh, forget about like the time I think the time of my streams is usually I'm aiming for like 7 to 8 central which would be 8 to 9 eastern so many powerpoints a week it's just one a week PowerPoint streams are my favorite. Of course, they're fun. So we have we have seven days in a week. Also, this is weird. I think the week starts on Sunday. We all agree, right? Right, this is weird. Them starting on Monday. Yeah. There's a couple of weirdos in chat, and and don't get me wrong, like noted. I know who you are. Uh, but, you know, obviously it starts on Sunday. So, I'm thinking, which days does it make most sense for me to stream? Um, so, obviously, uh, I have class early on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, that means I'm here, I'm, I'm sleeping here on those days. So, I think Sunday, I should have something planned on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, okay? Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, I think, are going to be, like, the actual things that we're doing. Alright? Now, the Sunday, after Goose Goose Duck, yeah, so, so tomorrow the idea is America should be playing Goose Goose Duck on this stream. If she, she could back out if she wants. I, I wouldn't blame her for that if she just wants to, like, play in her own privacy. But she said she wants to, and, and so, f like, that's what I think is happening. But if it doesn't, it doesn't, you know. Um, Thursdays, people are watching the traders. It's, uh, guys, it's fine. Like, <laughs> people could watch the traders. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I'm also watching the traders, you know. Early classes as a senior. It's not real. It's not early classes. It's 10 10. But also, I didn't. No, I, I didn't have the option to pick better classes. You know what I mean? So, when class registration was happening, guess where Corey Wurtenberger was? jury <laughs> if cam was able to successfully backdoor me i would be in much better classes right now he fucked me Schedule is so nice besides my Monday 7.30 to 9.45 every other week. Damn. That's a tough two. Wow, 7.30 for a class. They don't even have those at Vandy. 8 a.m. class I had as a senior. I just wouldn't go. I mean, that's that's tough. Um, okay, so I think Sundays being the presentation days makes sense because it gives me like the weekend to actually do them. So we're gonna which we call our presentation days. like pasta salad hate it too much mayo what should like the Corey professor day is called presentation day Corey presents can we can you guys up it a little bit Corey stories okay seminars sunday powerpoints with Corey. Corey nation prevents wurtenberger wisdom Hard quarry presentations. Sunday scaries. <laughs> Skip stream Sunday. <laughs> Pasta salad doesn't have to have mayo. It always does, though.
God 101, that's a good call. You guys like Quarry 101? <laughs> Quarry 101 goes kind of kind of crazy. And now I need we need to stream on Tuesday and stream on Thursday. So what are things? What are things we can do? But first, PowerPoint. Damn ads. There's only one way to reliably avoid ads. Outside of ad block. Eviction notice. I don't think we should dedicate it. I think I think Roblox and eviction notice should be like the what my plan is when I don't have a plan. Play Dark Souls. BB alternative history. Goo Boy Tuesdays. Yeah, I was thinking some sort of reaction thing, right? Invest in a Switch Capture Card? Yeah. Yeah, but I want it to be a little bit more... than... than... gaming. Yeah, a little bit more specific. What about IRL stuff? IRL stuff's hard. I think, like... Honestly, I think, um... I think Tuesday might be, like, a community day of some sort where I ask you guys to do some shit. Like, that's when we would do, like, the... That's something like the sponsor stream or the looking at audition videos. You know? Put us to work Tuesdays. And we're gonna call it Use Days. Because it's not Tuesdays, it's Use Days. How do we feel? By the way, question. If I were to do a stream that was like, I wanna look at your audition tapes for whatever reality show you wanna go on, would you all submit? Would any of you do it? And like the vast majority is gonna be no. Because I'm thinking, if I opened it, I'd probably get like 5 to 10 submissions, is my guess. Brando reacted to his tonight? Yeah, I was, I was in Brando's stream for a bit. We're self-conscious? So am I. Nez is working on it. I gotta get on, get on a call with Nez at some point. I'd be so bad at BB. Yeah, but most Big Brother players are too, so. Would you be mean? No. We're all introverts. SD Demon, what do you think I am? You auditioned for Survivor a few weeks ago? Pretty good. Thursday stream. Hmm. Our schedule's at 11 a.m. 
because it's time for all of us to fix our sleep schedules. No, that just it's just whatever. Thursday with Nez. I don't I don't think so. What are you thinking for Thursdays? Thirsty Thursdays, where we all get trashed. Where's America tonight? She's going out with uh, one of uh, Victoria, her best friend's friends. He lives in Nashville. We went out a couple, like maybe a week ago with them. Super, super nice dude. It was funny, I was like, you come out here often? He's like, no, I never go out. I'm like, me neither. <laughs> he was like, oh, he's my guy. <laughs> Reality TV day. Twisted Thursdays. Twisted T Thursdays. It's a good idea. <laughs> reality TV wrap up. <sighs> we can do something with reality TV. Because we'd, I think this Thursday I am gonna stream traders. I think, I think it'd be fun. I, th I think Flavor of Love we're gonna watch towards the end of ev any stream we want to watch something. You know what I mean? I think I will stream on Thursday. I think it'll be a fun time. Um. Hey, bub, d don't worry about it, dude. It's, it's all fine. Just, just let it go. Just ignore it. That's always the best way of dealing with this shit. There's no reason, and, and that goes to anyone. When you see stupid shit on Twitter, just fucking mute it. Move on. Be engaging with it, like, you know, I, I get it, and it's nice to see people like going to bat, but like, it's just, it's kind of, it's all pointless. Like, I, I have trouble when people call it, like, anything on Twitter, discourse. It's like, it's like discourse. I was also thinking of a stream idea that I thought would be funny. And this is honestly just me doing what I love to do. I think doing, like, a goofy ass news recap every week would be really fun. And I don't know if you guys necessarily understand what I'm talking about. Like, taking the goofy news stories from the week and doing like a news broadcast version of them, but not like a news broadcast, more of like a John Oliver kind of thing. Not super formal, just like me talking to you guys. I think that'd be fun. It wouldn't really, it wouldn't be like week weekend update where it's like jokes prepared. It would be more so just me like walking through like the stupid shit of the week. Um and that I think would have to be towards the end of the week. That might be a Friday or Saturday thing, depending on. Local mail, I'm in. See and yeah, honestly, this is a kind of a channel five news kind of shit. Maybe we can send you clips too, hundred percent. Just look up Florida stories to be easy content.
kind of like a Hassan Street type beat? Um, not really. It'd be more formal than that. I mean, look, I want to be very transparent. A lot of the blueprint is is Atriarch in terms of what he does, like a, like a wins and fails kind of style thing. Where you just kind of like have like a series of things you want to talk about and you just kind of go through it casually. Uh-oh, I just got a text from my mom saying I started watching Below Deck. Uh-oh. Have you ever been to a Vandy baseball game? Capital College Baseball? I have. It's a good time. Uh-oh. She's on season one. Can we talk about... I'm sorry. Can we talk about... Stephanie Wartenberger following, following Bury on Twitter. She got, she needs to be less involved. Pitt just beat Duke. Someone, uh, console Matt. <laughs> she also follows me. She's real. As she should, two icons. Thank you, Danielle. I appreciate it. I, I saw some funny shit on Twitter today. And it was, uh, it, it was, like, some people... And, and the reason it, like, my name comes up and then you get, like, the, in your mentions or whatever. And it was, like... It was, like, you know, I love Corey in America, but I just haven't been able to keep up with their streams recently. Like, I think I'm... Like, it's just too much. And, you know, I, I still like them. I just can't do it. And it's like a big threat of people being like, yeah, no, trust me, I'm with you. And it's like, okay. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. This is where we depart. I wish you all nothing but the best. <laughs> and, I, and I get like people are like parts of these online communities and they're like, you know, <laughs> it's just very funny like reading these things being the person. Which is like, a, I think it's a very singular experience. <laughs> and I'm just like, well... It was a good run. Because it's very unique, I think, having reality TV fandom like this, where, like, you are very limited in the scope of, like, how much people support you. Just in terms of, like, a timeline sense. Like, you guys are all big AmeriCorps fans, but on the next season you guys are probably going to stand other people. And that doesn't mean you're going to stop liking me in America, but like it's, we're all, we're all big brother fans. You know what I mean? And that's kind of how this works. And I'm sure like, you know, like whatever. So you kind of have to do this weird thing where you have to like, if you're trying to make anything out of this, you have to like lock in your people which, obviously, the people who are in my stream without tweeting it out randomly, I think, are fans of what I do a lot more than most, you know? And uh, I think, personally, what I appreciate about this community, uh, and I think you guys know I've been, at least in months past, like, a little conflicted about the whole having a community thing because, you know, a lot of it is... Stan Twitter and, and Big Brother Stan Twitter, um, I think it's, you know, sometimes can brew parasocial relationship toxicity type shit. Um, I feel like as time goes on, it kind of whittles down into the, the, the not weird people. Does that make sense? Like, honestly, like, the, the people who are haters... They'll, they'll stick with hating. Like, they're they're committed. But the people who, like, just don't like me, they stop caring. They're gone. And the people who, you know, are, are fans and supporters, they, they stick to, you know? So, like, now you just have, like, the people I like and then, like, the few weirdos who I just meet. And when I look at the chat, like, I recognize every single one of these names, basically. Not everyone, but, but most of them. You know, like, hey, bub, I know from Twitter and Twitch and Colleen I've played games with and Chiara Knight, just cameos and Amanda and Steel Cage and, you know, like, <laughs> Bree. 
and it's not like so insular where there's like five of you. Like there, it's a, there's a good amount of people. And again, it's not everyone. I bet you wish you didn't recognize my name. Uh, fuck. You're being parasocial? No, I think parasocial is when, like, I go into the AmeriCorps Central Discord and, like, join the join the voice call. You know, like, I, I do think I have, like, a viewer and streamer relationship. And that is the relationship. It's not more than that, you know? I'm in here with my whole ass government name. You didn't doubt yourself like that, but... You're literally on twitch.tv slash Corey Wurtenberger, so. We don't do voice calls, Corey. Uh-oh. Outed as an AmeriCorey Central Discord person. Timed out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Your streams are just a relaxed hang? Yeah, I think that's what they should be. You know what I mean? Thank you, Will. You're not allowed in the server. <laughs> I, I remember I responded to like a uh, a cameo where like I was um I, I basically joked like, "Hey, do you want to be the red oyster in the America Central Discord?" and like rat out all the drama to me. And I swear, like there was like 14 DMs being like, "I'll be your red oyster." And I'm like, "No, no, no." <laughs> we saw bro i know trust me nothing gets past you guys stop name them you're not kidding y'all want heads he doesn't know his americori days you guys also have like different terminology to refer to things than i do you guys are like the first hammock cuddle or the cold war you you guys are like Corey. what day did the magma crucible happen i'm like what the fuck are you talking about you know I'm like <laughs> what and they're like oh you know the day where you and you were trying to convince jag to use the veto on you instead of america and i'm like that is not you guys were not being descriptive Magma Crucible, that was a good time, right? Wait, how did this fucking football game turn out, by the way? Let me, let me check this shit out. 49ers are gonna win, right? Holy shit! Yo. You guys wanna become a sports stream? How do you guys feel about that? No thanks, no thanks, no thanks. Nope, nope, not, nope, nope. saw wow that would have gotten me so beyond banned wow 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 um i don't even want to put it out there because i don't want you guys to go there and see it <laughs> i didn't expect that um i did see porn yeah so how do i there's a big brother account that's like on TikTok and I think they're pretty funny and whatever. 
And then on their uh, on their Twitter, they they repost a lot of porn, I guess. Wow. LOL who? You think you're cool? You think you're subtle? <laughs> Jag? All right, look, let's play, let's play a quick game of, um, well, first of all, so if we're doing the schedule, I'm going to try to, I'm streaming tomorrow, right? So I'm doing my fucking, my whole thing, my presentation tomorrow. So I got to figure out what Corey 101 is going to be about. But for today, let's just play a quick game of eviction notice. It's my final one before I, uh. I can get into all stars because we won last time and I'm giving you guys fair notice. So you guys could try to get in because I know, you know what, we'll, we'll do a classic Bree and Wethley and you know, that kind of shit one. You know, it's okay. Mostly so we don't have to fucking play assassin. You think you're winning? I do. Oh, there it is. Dude, the, how do you do it, Steel Cage? How are you always so quick on the draw? Make it make sense, dude. Seriously. Corey, we missed it. That's right. I see Wethley. I see Steel Cage. Mike. All right. Thank you, Mike, for changing your skin. It's very good. Oh, God. If you watch another episode of Flavor of Love with that mother... America knows I watch Flavor of Love and stream. She... <laughs> She's gaslighting me. I've said it. I hate Corey. Okay. Let's see how that works out. Introducing your family and friends that you mentioned on stream. I mean, you guys met most of them. Most of the main characters. I gotta get some music going. Give, give me a sec. Actually, I can just play the fucking Roblox audio, honestly. Oh, dude, Roblox, it's a good time. It's, aside from it being a literal BB game, it's a great time. Would a Roblox make your Mac explode? No. That's why Roblox is crazy. It, like, it, you know, you can run it on whatever. And granted, obviously, you can run it on whatever. Look at this shit. We need another Outlaster stream. I think Outlasters, the challenges are way better, but that shit goes for like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Hapo deserves. It's crazy. Outlaster is so much more fun. It's so long, and I don't like that you can like. Buy fake idols and shit. It's just stupid. A Q&A with Steph would be a fun stream. Not gonna lie. I like getting her thoughts about the season and stuff from her perspective. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. I think I'd want to do it in person, though. I think, like, doing that on, on Zoom would be kind of weird, right? Steph deep dive. And 
fuck. I'm going to I'm gonna say an idea I had, and, and I don't want you guys to get too excited because I don't think I'm going to do it. There has been the idea in my head of do I want to watch the season uh, on, on stream. The, the reason being be able to provide insight into what I think about the episodes and what I was doing. I think the problem is it would look extremely clunky. I don't know. The, logistically, it would be a mess. Um... And I, I think you guys understand, like, I'm not trying to distance myself from Big Brother, but I'm going to get the most views when I do that, and I don't know if I necessarily want that. Because my, my whole thing is, I'm not going to subject you guys to watching me play Valorant for 10 hours. First of all, I don't want to do that, but also I know you guys don't want to watch that. So I think when I do, like, kind of all-around stuff... Where it's like, you know, me reporting the news and teaching you guys shit and watching videos. and I think that's like a nice way of like, it's accessible to everyone, you know? Um, while at the same time, like, you know, being not, hey, let's go watch Big Brother. So there's a couple reasons why I'm hesitant to do it. But I do think it'd be fun. Which is the main reason I won't do it. I think it would be like, what? Could I just play the audio or something, maybe? Aaron shows the timestamp so we can watch along. But I think that makes more sense for like a live episode, you know? Watch Taryn's live feed updates. I've watched most of them. <laughs> Is she gonna goose goose duck on here tomorrow? It's the plan, but you know, it's, it's kind of up to her. I do think like when, if I'm still streaming by next season, which, you know, I think I will be, I'm not sure. Um, I think the, the way I would want to cover it, I would not do, like, daily updates or shit like that. Like, you know, people do that way better than I ever could. I think I would just do, like, every week, I would have, like, a big thing. Like, I'd have a stream where I talk about everything. And, like, have, like, a little presentation and just go through my thoughts and everything. It's like, we'd have a day, probably, like, uh... Or like a Wednesday night where we'd go. Kind of like how they do the round table. Like I'd have my own little thing where I just talk about everything. We'll talk about Survivor. Yeah, I mean, look, we'll always talk about Survivor and Big Brother and Traders. And, you know. Oh, and also, can I say something insane? This is very biased to me. Very, very biased to me. People are like, Traders is already greater than BB25. Maybe I'm a BB fan. Not for me. The more I watch The Traders, the less I like that show. And it is being carried by me being a Dan and Parvati super fan. <laughs> like. And, and look, here's what I'll say. We're the first two weeks, like the first six episodes of Big Brother. Ugh, fuck. I'm trying to, trying to explain. My thoughts. The start of Big Brother 25, I think, is better than the start of The Traders. And we'll see how The Traders ends. Because I do not see a good ending in store. Based on all these people on Twitter talking about, oh, we knew, we knew it was Dan. We knew it was whatever. I don't think there's going to be a happy ending for all of us. <laughs> you know? Janelle said she knew Dan was a traitor. Yeah, and so did Tamara. And I don't know if I believe him, to be honest. Um, talk to us after you watch season one. I heard season one was worse than this. Is that is that not fair? Which 
I think my Big Brother Canada 12. There's no live feeds. I'm like, fuck, what are, we, what are we doing? You know? I'd go on a live feed update, sure. I, you know, you guys know. If Rob is a podcast asks me to do something, I'll do it. <coughs> I love yapping. You guys are going to be cheating, right? You guys are going to be typing everything. All right, I'm going to try typing because if you guys are all typing, I won't be able to beat you guys anyways. So there's going to be problems differentiating sugar and salt, but that'll give me a 50-50 at least, right? I don't get paid until Monday. My sub right now. <laughs> Steel, don't worry about it, man. You're fine. That spice threw me for a fucking <laughs> threw me for a loop because of the thing. The S's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna get too fast for me to type. I'm not very fast with this shit. for the gift plus Subaru ads. Oh, someone gifted one to Steel Cage. Dude, now you get to splurge on something else with your paycheck. Let's go, man. We haven't had a desk slam in a while. I've been calming it down. Keeping it more low key. Anyone going to Thailand with blue? Will you be doing three times a week for streams? I think any. Those are the days I'm going to like commit to streaming, and all the other days it'll just be if I want to get on and chill. Dude, Steel, it's the best thing you'll ever do. Melee is the best game of all time. Seems like a scam. I'm sure it's not. I trust Blue enough to do her due diligence on these things. But I am curious how it works. The first 50 days were good? I'm surprised it's that much. What, what was zombie week? What day was that? Thank you, Madeline. Zombie week were the best feeds? Yeah, for the ops. <laughs> Wait, are we getting Wethley out week one? <laughs> what a dream. Some dude thinks you have voice chat and is trying to talk to you. Y'all are using voice chat? Oh my god. Zombie Week was good for AmeriCorps development and that's it? You understand there's like an interactive element. Like, like these things are interconnected. The AmeriCorps getting closer and the AmeriCorps game position falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you, you guys are like, you have to pick one or the other. Like, we can't have both. You guys are probably split. Like, the Americori story people. Oh, we, you're using it on Wethley? What the fuck? Do we have another nine person pre gaming alliance going on here? My favorite thing to do on stream go on Twitter and see what everyone in chat's talking about. <laughs> Yo, Steph Wartenberger, so involved. Brie, don't don't forget this. She's oomph. <laughs> America's so funny. She was like yesterday. She's like, I still can't believe Turner is one of my oomphs. <laughs> like Joseph's an oomph, or Derek and Claire are oomphs. Oh wow. Good for you, Alexia. Especially after she called him racist by association. Hey, two things can be true at once. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Turner's one of my favorite people. We uh, we've met after. Another America tweet. We're eating. She she did get back to her apartment from dinner. So we're playing this, and I'm I'm getting over there. Turner's tweets are so funny because like he'll be just tweeting normally and then he'll tweet the biggest bombshell like fire not even news just like like flaming someone and then he goes back to just like posting about his lofts improvements. <laughs> it's so good. You see the thing he posted about Frenchie? Just out of nowhere. About a certain way. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is crazy. It's like a jump scare every time I open. Why are we playing a fucking 14 person OTEV? This is the stupid. I hate the way they did this. They gotta fix this shit. I got it. That's E fast. Sorry. My bad. All right. They're still doing one elimination. Okay, now they do a couple. That'd be crazy. Green sphere. Let's go. Thank you for the updates, Ken. Red Sphere.
bottle. Why does everyone zoom like that? I don't understand. Shit, I think I'm eliminated, y'all. Tragedy. How does everyone zoom at the start? I don't understand. Did anyone get it? Two minutes left? Okay. At the Green Bay 15? Shit. Don't go on the purple. It slows you down. Interesting. I thought it sped you up. I think control doesn't do shit. We here for Green Bay. Yeah, I'm going. For, I'm going for Green Bay here. The underdog. I'm a Brock Purdy denier. I think Jordan Love's cool. I'm also an Aaron Rodgers hater, like the number one Aaron Rodgers hater. So. Look, you don't have to be a sports fan. I'm also a Josh Allen denier, absolutely. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is like... Just like a right-wing crazy person. <laughs> Trust me, you're not, you're not a fan. Josh Allen denier, yeah. He's, he's good, but he's not. I don't trust him. Just like, he's like everything you'd expect. Like, anti-vax and like... Literally everything. Brett Favre is like a fucking joke. Yeah. Cam told me his favorite players. Guess Cameron's two favorite.